Oh, Lord, please help us to think on these things. Please lead God and direct us. Amen. Hello, dear friends. want to share something with y'all today that you could think about, and I pray that you think about this. We are giving very clear examples in the scriptures about what it will look like as we walk along with the Lord, as we're learning and growing and maturing in Him. And you could think about this in your daily life, maybe with your spouse or a family member, a friend, whoever it might be. And also you could think about it as you reason with other people, maybe unbelievers, maybe people that don't see things quite like you do. We can use this guidance here to help us, but we do want to consider these things and go before the Lord, ask Him to examine our hearts and to show us which way here that we're walking in and to help us walk His way. So, I'm going to list some, I think I'm going to make a little clip with some scripture in here. And I pray that it would help anybody to think about. Alright, in James 3.15, we have two kinds of wisdom explained. We have the earthly, fleshly, unspiritual wisdom that does not come from the Father. It comes from us. Earthly, fleshly, unspiritual. Let's take a look at this so we can think about it in the future going forward. And it would help guide us in the right way. So, James 3.16. That earthly wisdom is described as unspiritual and demonic. Here is what we will see and notice if we are in and amongst earthly wisdom going on, unspiritual, not from the Father, we will see selfishness, disorder, contention, unrest, strife, confusion, biting, devouring, hatred, wrath, Arrogance, quarreling, jealousy, selfish ambition, boasting. Second Corinthians 12.20, Paul even said to the Corinthians, I fear when I come visit you, I'm going to find you in this way. I don't want you to be in this way. I don't want to have to correct you about these things. So, you can think about that in any situation you're in. You know, if you're getting into a heated argument with someone and any of these things start to come about, you can know, cut it off right quick. What is that scripture? It says, um, abandon. I can't remember what it was, but anyway. So, y'all... Some of us have knowledge that might be more than what other people have. But it is not loving to harm them with our knowledge. Paul said he counted everything as loss. He threw it all away in order that he might win some. And in the same way, it is loving and Christ-like to learn how to yield to other people, humble ourselves to where they are, that we might reason with them in the scripture, or if you're dealing with something other than scripture, reason with them according to whatever situation you got going on. Be slow to speak. Be quick to listen. You don't have to be right all the time. People just want to be heard and valued. Not everybody has the same understanding and knowledge that you do. You know? 
and we're to be walking in love and practicing these things with people and how that we treat them. Let's move on and look at the wisdom that comes from above in James 3.17. The wisdom that comes from our Heavenly Father. We see that it is peaceable. Willing to yield and submit to others. Able to reason yeah, with them. Peace. Compassionate. No contention. No division. Gentle, accommodating, accommodate them where they are. Sincere, showing no favoritism. Um, and then in 1 Corinthians 14.33, we see that God is the author of peace and love. He's not the author of confusion. These are some things to think about. If we find ourselves being corrected by the Lord, if this strikes a chord in your heart, as it does mine, let us just seek the Lord and ask for help, that we would walk in the ways of wisdom, which is from above, which is from the Father, not from a oh, earthly, fleshly, demonic way. Hurting others, harming them, casting them off like their thoughts do not matter. We're not going to win anybody that way. We're not. So I love y'all. I hope this will help to think about. And this is the scriptures. These are what we to, are to be practicing and applying and walking in, adhering to, you know, in reverence to Christ, imitating Him in the way He dealt with people. All right? So I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.